Hello, hello, my beautiful Pisces. You know I love you. So my beautiful ones, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm sorry, Spirit's trying to take me right now. <laughs> I apologize. So my beautiful ones, this is going to be your love forecast for April 16th um, through the 30th, 2016. I did want to let you guys know, I'm sorry, I'm... Um, Spirit's trying to take me, and, I, and I'm trying to do the intro, so I apologize. Um, I did want to let you guys know that the channel is going to be expanding. Um, and the way that I work, if you're new, I'm a psychic medium. So I use the tarot card as a tool for a point on a path and a timeline because I go in and out of dimensions, and it's hard to, to sort of see timelines unless... This is sort of a pinpointing thing uh, to help me see where you're at okay i hope that makes sense um, it's kind of hard to explain um, so there will be new things coming um, but you guys it's all along what you guys love it's about consciousness and the tools that we use and how to use that every day um, in our lives so um, i think you guys will be excited about the new stuff um, and I have a surprise I will be starting the dailies again they're gonna be in a different manner but I am gonna start the dailies again I know everybody wanted those so I've figured out a way to do it okay so all right now we can begin um, all right my beautiful ones in your first position you have the four of Pentacles so the four of Pentacles tells me Sorry about that. So the Four of Pentacles tells me that this is you. You are reserved with your emotions right now in the love area. Some of you, it is because your partner. Others of you, it's being single and you just met someone. For others of you, if you haven't met anyone, you're about to meet someone. The reason I say this, and you're on track for doing this, okay? Because you're listening to your intuition. What I, the reason I say this is because um, you have the lovers crossing you. So this is spirit saying whoever's in your life right now or whatever you're dealing with in your love area, um, for some of you it's that person you just met, for some of you it's someone you're about to meet, and for some of you it's the partner that you've had. The lovers card is a 50-50 card. This means that they're a soulmate. And that to me means that you they are here to help you grow your soul in the biggest ways possible does not mean that they are here to stay a lifetime that is up to you and them okay so understand you're on track your soul is growing and i'm not saying they won't stay i'm just saying they have a choice and you have a choice it's a 50 50 card to me so congratulations because you're on your path now in your recent past what put you here is the two of cups so for some of you you recently met Someone that you understood each other on an emotional level, on a physical level, and on a spiritual and mental level. Okay? So, it was this, meeting this person, or if you're partnered, it was spending this time where you completely connected that put you in here. In this position. In this position, you're being very balanced. You're not giving too much. You're keeping your boundaries, and that's really, really good for you. So, congratulations. Now, in your fourth position, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So, from now until the 23rd, but uh, I see time as malleable. So, it can depend and vary on the path that you've taken and where you are on that path. So, from now until the 23rd, varying, um, you will see manifestation. You will see the physical part of what you've been working on in the love area and that is different for different people so if that is that you've been working on yourself clearing yourself and waiting for a soulmate to come you will see evidence if that is the partner that you have you've been working on the issues that you two have and coming to an understanding you will see benef you will see the manifestations of that okay so congratulations now, in your fifth position, I asked your higher self, what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love? You have the Queen of Swords. So, your higher self is saying, 
absolutely be brave and courageous in what's coming your way because you are strong and you are clear now and it is okay to make the decision. You have to trust yourself that you know what you're doing. You have to trust yourself that you're listening to your intuition, that you're listening to spirit, that you're listening to your higher self. And we are not going to steer you wrong. Okay? Now spirit will tell you whichever way you want to go, we'll help guide you in that way. Your higher self will tell you this is what we wanted to do. This is the experience we wanted to do when we came here. Okay, so listen to your higher self and also understand for some of you, whoever's coming in your life is going to be quick and fast. So they just gave me that. Okay, and that's for some of you. So congratulations. Now, in your sixth position, um, this is from the 24th through the 30th. Again, time is malleable to me. You have the four of swords. So I see some of you will get a little anxious and by that second week because you don't want to overdo it with someone if you meet someone but you you do want to give them love because you're used to doing that but you are trying to find your boundaries you are trying to stick to your boundaries so I feel like you get a little anxious for some of you and you sort of don't deal with it for a little bit for that next week but for others of you I feel like you're putting down the single life and you're actually in love that's for some of you so I saw this card two different ways okay so congratulations now in your seventh position this is your fear you have the death card so as much as you're fearing a new phase for so I say two ways as much as you're fearing a new phase for some of you you're fearing letting really letting go of that past phase okay but remember and I think it's because you don't want to do again what you are what you've already done just remember a fear is there to remind you of what you don't want just focus on what you want now for others of you you're coming to an understanding that the next phase that you know you have to go into may be walking away or going away from a partner okay that is a fear okay remember a fear is just there to remind you of what you don't want focus on what you want and it'll help you help guide you in the direction you want to go okay now in your eighth position this is the way a loved one will be will be viewing you or dealing with you <clears throat> for some of you you have the swords coming into your life and that would be an air sign but I don't necessarily see an air sign um, but that would be an Aquarius a Gemini uh, or a Libra I do see Aquarians and Libras yeah um, either way, this person is going to be, um, swift with the decision. Um, they're able to give you what you want emotionally, uh, just the surface stuff. Um, and they'll let you keep your boundaries. Okay. Uh, for others of you, this is the type of time that you'll be spending with a loved one, with your partner. And that is, it's fun. It's light. It's airy. Um, it's almost like you guys talk forever and ever and can't go to sleep because you're like a school kids, okay? But it'll be that type of time that you're spending with your loved one. So congratulations. Now, in your ninth position, this is your hopes and dreams. You're hoping and dreaming a lot of you to come out of what you've been through and just be in a calmer, no, not just calmer, peaceful place because a lot of you are in a more peaceful place. But in that calmer place of not even having to find someone for that someone to already be here and and you guys just relaxing with each other yeah that's what you're wanting it's here it's in your realm you just got to keep feeling it because it's here and then you'll manifest it now in your 10th position this is the overall outcome of what you'll be working on in the next two weeks you have the nine of wands so this tells me that for some of you, you're taking a stand with a loved one and and you sort of know where it's going, but you're brave enough to take the stand. For others of you, I feel like you meet this person and you just know that everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And you keep your boundaries. Yeah, absolutely. All right, my beautiful ones. 
Have a wonderful two weeks. I love you, love you, love you. Bye.